Hello everyone, I'm Mustafa in this video. On this video I want to show you how to build a simple LED blinker with OTA derived functionality support. First of all, let's make a new project in platform IO. I use this. Now I name my project. Let's select our evaluation board and it's ready. The blue LED on board is connected to GPIO2. So I make this pin as output. It's easy. Make it on a simple delay and no turn it off another delay. Okay. Let's test the simple project to see if this is work or not. Okay, as you see it's blinking very fast and it's ready for next step. Before we continue, let's see how OTA Drive works. OTA Drive provides an update API which IoT device should call it to get the latest framework from the server. This API needs to provide three parameters product API key, device serial, and a current framework version installed on IoT device. When the API has been called, the server starts to find product by provided API key. If the product didn't found by the server, it returns HTTP error code and the procedure is failed. If the product has been found, the server starts to find the group device related to. If device serial didn't find it any group, the server adds it to the default group. Now the server now the group of the device. It loads the firmware chosen for the group. If no firmware has been chosen, the server returns HTTP error and the procedure is failed. If current version on device is equal to chosen version for group and then the server returns HTTP not modified code and the procedure will be stopped because the firmware already is up to date on the IoT device. At last the server returns chosen file to the device and upgrade procedure starts in the device. Let's come back to our simple framework. First of all, we should create a product in OTA drive to obtain API key. Let's log in to our account. Here is some statistics about our account activity and our device. In the product section, I will define a new product. I name it. Today I can choose a model name for my product and a short description. Then I can add an image for my product to become it more pretty. Okay. 
okay you can see a new product added in the table I can modify anything let me change the picture it's better picture for this test okay let's open product details and see what's inside you can see some aesthetic six about our device activity and some other information about our product here and what we need now it's our API key you can see API key is secured and not shown totally click the button to copy it in your clipboard okay let's back come back to our framework I use HTTP update library let's connect our device to the Wi-Fi and now I gonna to write update function okay as we described it before we should call the API with three parameters API key first of all let me copy again the second parameter we should provide in API URL is device version I choose a version code and to get chip ID in ESP32 I have to rewrite a simple function that gets the device serial number okay our URL is ready let's call the function it is a Wi-Fi client object done it seems it's okay so I have to call this function periodically and let me choose a counter to control the period okay and now okay I call the update function after a free 30 times blink now it seems everything is ready let's write the firmware to the module okay it's done let's check the auto drive and we are expecting the device adds to our product yes it's added and we have no one device is only in our list and we could find it in the default group because it's first time our device connected As you can see, our device listed below, and you can check the last activity time is a few seconds ago. And our device serial is what you see here. You can write some description about the device. I wrote something. Okay. 
no you can see at the top of the page there is no firmware chosen for the OTA functionality no for configuration and no resource and this chapter we are focusing on on firmware and I'm gonna to upload my new firmware and it will be listed here in the firmware section I should upload my new binaries to upgrade my ESP32 firmware Before make any change to our program, let's keep the current binary as archive. The binary is located here and I gonna to pick it. Let me rename it to ignore any overwrite on okay no i'm gonna to change version name and make some minor changes let me change the timings of blink and this period okay that's enough let's compile ready now and I'm gonna to pick this new binary this is another version okay no I'm gonna to upload this let me browse the binary file okay you can see a warning it's about version inje injection mechanism we didn't yet implemented it that's right ignore this warning and continue the operation write some description that's not important the warning is here I Ignoring. Okay, let's add it. Another version, the newer version. I wrote the version code and some other description. So right, done. Okay, we have two version. One of them is our current version, and the another one is new version. You can see this warning, but no firmware on the group, and no, you have the firmware listed below. As you choose the firmware, the save button shows up, and let me save it. We are waiting for ESP32. The blink stopped. It seems is upgrading and text to line. I'm pretty sure it's upgrading. Okay, it's start with slower blink speed and it means our version is upgraded into device let me see the status of the group the status is old because after the upgrade the ESP32 not yet connected to API and the OTA server does not know the current firmware on the ESP
okay it's stored for a while and it, that means it's connecting to a server let's refresh okay it's updated let's change the firmware to the previous version and check how it works I simply chose the older version and press the save the older version has been submitted as the group version the ESP32 is stopped blink it's connecting and upgraded it's now blinking with the faster speed and it means it has already or all the version let me refresh the page and check the real status okay as you see you can control your ESP framework version with only six lines of code I wish you enjoy this tutorial